We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with a new video today with Bree Maker and today's plan. It's going to be a little bit of a boss round. And towards the end of the boss round, hopefully it's going to be successful. We are going to do a little bit of upgrading with Bree Maker, not gear related, but mostly maybe inner abilities, maybe hyper stats, and as well as some skill nodes and all of that beautiful juiceness. Recently, we have done a brand new boss, actually just a few days ago. So I'm not really going to be that great. And I feel like Remaker sitting at 263 could potentially take down a solo normal gloom run. Again, I do not know all the mechanics. I've attempted twice with Chagas 2, as you guys have seen previously. We did take him down, but with Remaker, I am going to be a little bit surprised. Sitting at 20.4 mil combat power, damage range is pretty decent. We do have a lot of buffs happening at the moment. Crit damage sitting at 15, 12 on damage and 12 on boss damage. Our ID is solid at 97.5. Inner ability is not looking that great. We do have that attack speed and boss damage, those two important ones. And we have... Actually, the third one was also an important one, the 5% damage. We just need these last two numbers to go a little bit up. Without further ado, let's begin the process. So I'm going to pop all of the buffs that I will need. Unfortunately, I do not have any gill skills activated at the moment, depending if we can do this in just a single run. Ooh, wait, a lot of you did comment that I should not pop my buff in the beginning. When he's got his eyes closed like that, Oh my god, guys, we are not doing any damage. What the heck? Okay. Escape the tornadoes. How am I going to... Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Go pop all of the little summons that we have. Just focus on where we are. God, we are not doing anything at all. I might have just pushed myself a little too... Tornadoes? Oh my god, tornadoes, tornadoes. We still is with the eyes closed. Make sure we also have him debuffed. Okay, we took that hit. Bit of iframe. Sometimes those tentacle attacks are a little bit too big. I'm gonna iframe. Then I'm gonna fly up in the air. There you go. I can actually now start buffing up. I think. Pop my sword illusion. And guild skill. I think that's good. Okay, we're doing pretty decent damage now. Alright, I'm gonna bind him. There you go. It, oh wait, the bind didn't work? Oh, he's doing the laser thing. Yes, yes, yes. Just keep hugging the left wall. What the heck? That was such a long one. Thank god for the rush attack. It's going to be a little bit difficult to escape. Like, which Chagas 2? Oh my god. That was close. With Chagas 2, those balls. I mean, if I'm on dark dark side. Ooh, tornado. But, ooh. I frame. I, I just had to. And what what is actually happening? I'm surprised I'm still alive. Okay, he's doing that weird, weird thing. With all the little ghosts. Okay. I'm gonna pop hero as well because it's kind of annoying not to be able to attack. Why am I stuck? Why, why is that a thing, actually? If I'm not comfortable, I'm going to Ifrim. <laughs> okay. We're, we're still surviving. We're still surviving. That's what matters, guys. Doesn't matter if it takes us 30 minutes. We're only 3 minutes in. So... I think we're gonna be fine. I just need to survive. Alright, so again, when he is eyes closed, currently damage reduction. Ooh, iframe. Thank god for iframes. And then escaping those balls of death. Alright, so we've got all of our buffs once again ready. I don't know if I should do it now. I'm gonna do it. It's okay, whatever. Let's go up here. We've got iframe radius as well. Sword illusion. He's gonna do the laser, and I'm gonna iframe him. Just for that little bit of a damage. Cool. 
we are doing this. 78% HP. All my summons right in the middle. Not gonna do much, but it's something. Alright, one thing I've just noticed, completely forgot about it, is the is the gauge. What am I supposed to do for him to not feel angry at me? How do we like control his aggressivenessness? Is if that's <laughs> if that's how we can say that. Alright. Sword illusion. Oh my god, those balls. Those balls are just so so annoying. And we can't even use cure pots. Alright, he's doing a laser thing. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna hold on. So 45. Actually 40 seconds left in order for us to begin our burst once again. We've got two minutes on a cooldown for the origin skill. Skip the tornadoes. Those balls. Actually, I feel like I know the pink balls are a little bit annoying. Because then you're not doing any damage for a few seconds. I'm gonna fly. Oh, baby. Drop down. Oh, no. If only I had Shadow Soul. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay. Can we bind him? No. Okay. That was such a bad time to do everything. That's alright. I'm gonna pop Sword Illusion. I don't know what is happening, my frame. Escape the tornadoes. We are bursting, actually, so. Sword Illusion. I mean, uh, rush, rush, rush. Pop Heroes will. Not. Yeah. No, I don't have it. What is happening, man? Oh my god. There is no way we're still alive. There is no absolute way. A little bit of focus here. I mean, if you're a bowman or a thief, any long distance job here, you can take advantage of the laser time. Any other characters, it sucks to be us, but we just have to wait. Oh my god, now how can you why is it quick and why is it slow sometimes? Do a little bit more damage on this debuff. There you go. I'm gonna pop some summons. Yield okay, origin skill is ready now. I'm just gonna wait for everything else. I'm not gonna do anything at the moment. I'm just gonna hug the wall. Hug the wall, hug the What an iframe. What a freaking iframe, you guys. Oh my god. Round of applause there. Oh my god, fly up in the air. Dude, I'm I'm actually impressed. <laughs> I'm learning. Okay, wait. I shouldn't be laughing here. This is the perfect moment to pop everything in Origin, maybe? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I see that. Oh, it's beautiful. What's not so beautiful is that he might do that laser. Will he do the laser now? He shouldn't. Wait, did I find a hack? I think we found a hack, ladies and gents. So if you origin skill or maybe bind when his eyes are open, does that mean Oh that that it, that's not I don't like this part man. Yeah, as I was saying, oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Let's not give up. I'm gonna pop everything here. Let's make as much damage as possible. Dude, how can you laser white this? What? Oh my god, these balls are gonna be the death of me. Fly, fly, fly. Nice. Debuff. Escape the balls. We have two lives left. We literally cannot... Cannot die anymore. I'm gonna do... Yeah, I'm gonna burst. Have to be done. I didn't like that. We're, we are kind of late on our burst. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Gloom does drop the Arkham boxes. And that's exactly what we need with Remaker. I mean, I've been doing runs and runs and runs. And we have not seen that box at all. Except for one. And the spell book. 
Okay, we have to be ready not to get hit by those blue balls. Because this is the time where... Yeah. Make sure we debuff him. I'm gonna fly up in the air. Alright, I'm dead. That is not fun. Okay. Surely he's going to do the lasers. Yeah, he's doing the lasers. Alright, it's just a, a matter of fact of paying attention. Okay, lasers. I mean, tentacles. Debuff. Everything is ready. Origins is not. Okay. Fly up in the air. Go down. Nice. This is perfect. I am going to burst you, my guy. Debuff him. Burst, burst, burst. There's still a hope, guys. There is a hope. Come on, man. Come on. Sucks that we cannot bind Bloom, man. Why? Yeah, it just doesn't... It doesn't work. Survive, survive, survive. We have iframe for our sanity here. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fly up in the air. Perfect. Dude, does he like just does this quicker and quicker? That's what I feel like it is. 30%. We've got this in the bag. We've got this. Alright. Keep some distance. The purple one doesn't matter. Purple ball, we love you. Oh, no, 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 no. What the heck? Why? No. We're so close. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to run this again. Alright, we've got Origin ready. Gonna pop everything pretty soon. So my buff is there. Sword Illusion, come on. Come on, baby, come on. There you go. And Origin. Oh, that's decent. Oh, that's huge. And we might be able to escape that laser. Is he going to do it? No, he's not doing it. Nice. And now we can just attack him. He's got his eyes wide open. Debuff. Fly up in the air. Oh, okay, we're dead. Oh, we're not dead. What the heck? I am going to do everything in my possible... Okay, that's, that's the chomp. The chomp attack and the stun attack. Oh my god, what is actually happening? Can I please <laughs> let me go? Stun, 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 stun. And what the heck? I'm gonna pop my little sword friend here. There you go. Okay, that was epic. That was literally epic. And we're sitting at 28%, guys. So, okay. In total, fourth attempt ever in the history of this game. Then we've got my second attempt with Breemaker in one single sitting. As we're trying to focus and not die, I'm gonna pop my iframe just because I didn't feel much comfortable with those two blue balls. Five lives still. Somehow still alive. I think the door buff. Like, I'm still not too completely sure, but I know it does give you an extra life or something like that. I think that saved me earlier. Okay, he's gonna do his lasers. 24%. Come on, let's not fo let's not lose focus, because as you guys have known, I happen to die a lot consecutively. A lot of you did say to pop those resistance iframe, iframe, perfect. To pop those resistance link scales, but I always do forget A and B. I just don't know what to replace it with. Almost died there. Alright, focus time. And fly up in the air. I am stunned, but somehow I was able to fly and pop all of my buffs. Sword illusion. Debuff. Because we still okay, he's he is debuffed. Nice. Just pop my burst, man. Come on. I did mess up a little bit with the pink balls. Taking away some of my damage. I frame, but we still got hit. Oh, I hate this part. There is no way in hell I'm gonna lie. <laughs> There's no way. Like, for those ghosts to stun me and block me, I need tips and tricks. Literally, 
how do I escape these these ghosts? And why does that happen? All right, he's gonna do tentacle one, tentacle two. I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna pop my sword, sword illusion as well, just so we can get rid of those stupid ghosts. This is a time where we should be bursting, but we don't have burst anyway. Okay, he did that thing again, and he's doing that thing again. Oh my god. Okay, somehow we survived. Sitting at 13% HP. Let him do that first tentacle. Pop my summons in the middle. Escape. Escape the blue balls. He's not doing the super quick tentacle thing again. And I'm noticing I need to buff a bit. Iframe? Yep. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There you go. Alright, we can burst. We can burst. Give me a second here. Sword Illusion. Debuff is on. It's gonna pop some blue balls in my head. Oh guys, we got this in the pocket. Origin still in a minute though. I just don't want those stupid ghosts, man. Debuff him from distance. Oh baby, we got this. I mean, 3% HP. My heart is actually running. Like, I... <laughs> Drew, thank you, man. I, I absolutely love you, my guy. You are always there for me. For those extra little buffs when I'm doing these harder bosses. I mean, Gloom is a hard boss to me, at least. At, at least at this level. Just like how Will was such a hard one in the beginning. Alright, he's doing the thing. Fly up in the air. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna pop my little sword right here. Sword Illusion is also up. It's done. Come on. Can we take him down? Can we take him down? Please, please, please. 0.5% HP. Come on. Baby, 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 baby. Oh, come on. We got this. Okay, I mean, I feel a little bit like I cheated a little bit with Chagas too, because normal Gloom is a little bit too easy. But sitting at 20 mil combat power with Breemaker, we were able to take him down. Now, let's pray to the gods of Maple. Sitting at 196. Let's pop our fans real quick. 246. All right, let's pray and spray. No Arkin box. How silly of me that I thought No More Gloom would have dropped it. Well, I mean, we could not ever take down Sea Gloom at Remake with Breemaker at this level. Oh my god. Endless Terror is the ring from Sea Gloom. And it's part of the pitch boss set, so that's why people take it, because I'm thinking about the other rings. As promised, before we end today's video, I'm gonna do a little bit of upgrading with still missing the totems with this guy. We're gonna do a little bit of upgrading as our arcane levels are pretty pretty close to being full so i'm gonna open all of this and then we're gonna take a look at how much we're gonna get max choo choo island perfect i don't know how oh, okay we're still missing a lot okay and probably 16 as well okay so that's we need to open a few more and i hate to open these on six i mean i'd rather open them on sacred symbols but i really need to finish this up let me see Whoever came up with opening these one by one, I think there's a better way to open these. Just, I don't know. All right, so 400 of those were able to be added to the, the uh, Lachlan one, and we're still missing a few. Other thing we're going to open is all of our Cernium symbols. We're sitting at level 7 already, so that's pretty decent. And see how high... Okay, it's just by one level. Last but not least... I'm not gonna grab Soul Urdas, I just need Fragments with Breemaker. We have here our Trinodes, our Cry Valhalla, Final Attack, Raging Blow. We've got it twice here, and we've got Beamblade, Puncture, and Rising Rage. So we need another set of this three. We're gonna open 63 nodes, hopefully that's gonna be enough. Rising Rage, Beamblade, and last but not least, Puncture. Okay. We've got one, and it looks like we can pop it in there. It took Breemaker less time than it took Chagas 2 to get all 
four of the try nodes. Let's try and do a quick little enhance all. We're gonna have three to four, three to four, three to five, five to six, two to four. A little bit more enhancing. So, oh, nice. So this is going up to 23. Really glad they've added this feature. A little bit of a side note, you guys. I just realized that I took off one of the V Matrix skills, which would allow me to max, I mean, actually activate Raging Blow. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We've got Raging Blow activated. And we're going to take a look at what it looks like. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. This is beautiful. Dude, I already thought the first initial skill was nice. Guys, le le let's remember that the warrior, the hero, the swordsman was my very, very first class ever back in 2006 or 7. For me to finally see what the six drop version of Raging Blue looks like. Let's read max enemy hit 8, damage 356, number of attack or enhanced raging blow still attacks four times a little bit more damage so 83 87 and the final two attacks are always critical hits attack range of instinctual combo in burning soul blade is increased if i pop instinctual combo oh look at that got instinctual i mean you can't even see instinctual combo anymore it's well yes you can but i mean and if i pop the soul blade behind me okay not much of a difference but still, this is just, <laughs> dude, it's just flashing in my eyes. It's so beautiful. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this one a little bit longer than usual. I do apologize. And if you did like this one, give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching until here if you have. And as always, this has been Nuri. Spread your peace and love. Catch you guys on the next one.